oh my word I was really nervous going to the counter in case my flight was wrong again but I have my boarding pass and it's all good so I'm just going to go through security now just stopped for something to eat at this restaurant at the airport and I asked for no carrots how come there is always that lone one that sneaks on and also how come whenever you have a meal there's never a knife and fork only a spoon and fork I've no idea how you're supposed to cut your vegetables and your meat up won't be long and I'll be boarding for my flight to Borneo which is another new place that I've never been to before Welcome to Borneo, the Malaysian side of Borneo. Yay! As the wheels touched down, everybody was taking their seat belts off and wanting to get their bags. I've never been on a flight like that before. I'm just going to find a taxi now and take me to my hostel. I've got a SIM card. And I found the ATM. This is my hostel, Homey Seafront Hostel. Thank goodness for that, there's a lift. It's on the fourth floor. I love this hostel so much so, I actually extended for another 10 days. This reception. Okay, my room is down one level. Let's go and have a little look. Okay, this is a bonus. Right underneath my hostel, there is a bar that does live music, plays football, soccer. Brilliant. So today, my day consists of laundry. just found a bar called Serendipity. Fabulous. Oh my word, cottage pie and steamed vegetables with gravy. I'm looking forward to this. There were enough leftovers for the next night. So that window just up there, that's the hostel that I'm staying in. 
and I believe the window just above that end there, that's my bedroom window. So I managed to move my bunk bed today. I've now got a bottom bunk and I'm down here, room with a view, perfect. Number 35, my first bed was number 45. So the following day, I did a free walking tour all the way round the local area. It was supposed to last about two hours, but our guide was doing the talking in Mandarin and in English as well. He's a very clever man. But instead of only taking the two hours, it took three hours because he had to say everything in both languages. So our tour guide, Simon, was just saying that the tourist board building here started off in 1918 as a post office and then it was taken over during the war. This was a building that was built by the English while they were here. And he was saying that it's got very good foundations. But unfortunately, a few years back, there was a fire and it burnt down. So they've painted what's left of it and use it for the community to come together. So in Malaysia, the children get 11 years of free education. This is the clock tower. It was built in memory of an English officer who contributed a lot to the area. Good morning and after a wonderful evening last night I'm headed out to the Sunday market. It's a beautiful day, it rained most of the day yesterday. I've just made it to this little car show with VW camper vans and Beatles as well.